farmers in Central and South Asia are in a battle to save their crops from swarms of ravenous locusts. Food for millions could be under threat. In Tajikistan's southern Kalton region, Saeed Jafar Umarov says he's lost half of his vegetable fields. Tajik farmers say that this season's locust invasion is much larger than previous years. For many, insecticides are just too expensive. Farmers who can afford to spray say it's not effective and have called on the government for help. Tajikistan, Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan are among several Central Asian nations struggling to cope with locust swarms. Kazakhstan said at least 150,000 hectares have been destroyed by the Moroccan locust, one of 10 destructive types found in Central Asia. But it is the desert locust that has wreaked the most havoc. The worst infestation in two decades has seen desert locusts ravage crops from East Africa and the Arabian Peninsula to Iran, Pakistan and India. It's been um, slowly um, building up and, and increasing for the past two years. Keith Cressman is the senior locust forecasting officer for the UN Food and Agriculture Organization. He says heavy rains caused by a series of cyclones in the Indian Ocean since 2018 produced the perfect conditions for desert locusts to breed in an isolated area of Saudi Arabia. And it was an area where nobody could get to. There is an 8,000-fold um, increase in the number of locusts. So during this whole continuum, during the last 24 months, basically, the weather hasn't stopped. I mean, it's been incredibly unusually favorable um, for the for the benefit of the locust from the arabian peninsula the desert locusts swarmed westward to africa and eastward to iran the iranian military offered to help battle the pests which officials said devoured at least 200,000 hectares of fields and orchards by mid may it's very critical now in iran i mean this month you know if if they're able to do you know very very effective survey and control operations of course then that would reduce that that migration, the scale of the migration to India and Pakistan um, later in the month and early next month. In Pakistan, desperate farmers bang drums or pots to chase the locusts away. The invasion comes amid the COVID-19 pandemic, which has caused global trade to plummet. That has sparked concerns that there could be food shortages in some parts of the world this coming winter. For the first time in more than 60 years, desert locusts have been breeding in Pakistan's Indus Valley and further north on the Punjab plain along the Indian border. In Pakistan's Balochistan and Sindh provinces, 80,000 hectares of crops have been damaged. Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan is reportedly considering financial incentives to encourage people to catch locusts and sell them as chicken feed. They are very high in protein uh, for, for human consumption, um, and of course they're very good for, for small animal consum consumption like, like chickens and, and ducks and, and these things. The most important point of all of this is that you know, it has to be non-treated locusts. You, you cannot you know, capture, collect, and, and consume locusts that have been sprayed by pesticides. That, that's very, very dangerous. So, so any type of ideas, um, like the prime ministers, they must be accompanied by public awareness.
Cressman says high rainfall this summer in Africa and the Arabian Peninsula, or heavy monsoons in Pakistan and India, could trigger a second wave of infestation. The numbers of locusts that are present in a number of different countries and regions is very, very high. And so um, it's going to take time to, to get these numbers um, down. Um, and again, much depends on, on the weather. You know, what happens this summer will be absolutely critical in terms of the rainfall. A wet summer could mean even more crop losses for farmers already struggling to cope with the voracious pests.